You step onto a rooftop. The sky isn't filled with jets anymore, but with thousands of small, buzzing vehicles weaving through the clouds. No airports, no runways, just a world where every journey takes off from your doorstep. This is the reality we face if flying cars become the new kings of the sky, replacing airplanes entirely. In this world, long-distance travel isn't managed by massive aircraft, but by compact, autonomous flying machines, each one designed to lift a handful of people across continents. Flying cars would rely on electric propulsion, vertical takeoff systems, and AI-guided navigation networks. They climb like drones, cruise like aircraft, and descend with surgical precision. But they also bring challenges, limited range, battery demand, and extreme congestion in the low sky. Airplanes dominate because efficiency scales with size. A single jet carries hundreds, crossing oceans on a single tank. Flying cars, however, trade efficiency for flexibility more agile, more personal, but far less capable of long-haul flight. First, global air routes collapse, major airports shrink into cargo hubs. Skies fill with millions of microflight paths, managed by powerful AI. Nose rises, energy grid strain, accidents once rare become constant micro-failures scattered across cities. International travel slows, fragmented across countless small vehicles. Weather becomes a major threat, storms shut down entire regions of airspace. If flying cars replaced airplanes, the world would gain freedom, but lose stability. Convenience would rise, yet global connectivity would fracture. So the question remains, in a future where the sky belongs to everyone, how safe is the world beneath it?